This video will cover how to um, move replacement parts onto the Makoto figure. Uh, right here is showing the replacement parts that were sent. There was a torso with the legs. They do have the joint in the top of the torso and the joints in the legs. It also came with the arms, but no joint in the shoulder or the wrist, just the joint at the elbow for those. So if you start with your whole Makoto, you can wiggle the chest piece away from the torso. You can see how they connect. Then you can also pull the lower leg of the calf off. If the joint comes out with it, you can just pull the joint out of it also because the joints are already in the replacement parts. You don't need the joints in the calf parts. So then you're done with that old piece. You can go ahead and just slide the new joints back on. I usually wiggle left to right and just slide them on. And just You can hear a little slight pop when they, they go on. And then you just make sure that they are working. He stands up, he can move his knee, everything's in place. The torso also just slides on. He's got a really easy torso. Lots of other figments have a ball joint here, but his is just a regular joint that slides on and then moves side to side full of movement. Now we're going to do the arms. Um, also a joint just side to side. Pulling it off. This one's a little bit tighter on mine so I had to really wiggle it around to get it to pop off. But it just pulls straight off. It's just a straight peg there. Same thing on the other side. Just side to side. Pulling back on it until it pops off. These are meant to come off because he also has the crossed arms that go on so um, it shouldn't be an issue for these to come off. If they're too hard you can put heat on them beforehand. Then we're going to put the other two arms, make sure you've got the left one, right one, and just slide those on, slide those on. Then you want to make sure you've still got the bend going on, so if it won't bend right away, don't force it. You can um, twist it and then see if it'll bend. So you might have to um, spin it around that joint, because that joint, it only bends one direction. So you might have to spin it a little bit until it starts to bend on its own. Then you can check your movement up and down, um, all the way around. It's got good movement going on there. So now we just got to do the wrist joints. He doesn't have any wrist. In the other arms, the hand is attached to a little peg, and there's another little peg inside the body. The longer end of the peg goes in the arm, the shorter end goes in the hand. Just a little bitty tiny joint there. Long end in the arm, short end is for the hand. Um, and they pop off pretty easy also. You also have replacement joints in both of the Makotos, so even if you lose one or two of those, you should have plenty of wrist joints with those. And the hands just slide on, you can use any of the hands that came with Makoto um, to just slide those on there. Once you got them back together, you can test them out, see how he poses. Kodo has um, a lot easier joints to work with than some of the older Figma, so there shouldn't be too many problems switching his parts out. If they're really, really tight, again, you can put them in some warm water before you start, and that will loosen his joints. It'll make the plastic contract so that it's easier to pull apart. But you can do that if you need to. Um, tight joints are good, so you can also um, just replace the lower half with a different Figma's lower half. That's how I gave Haruka pants instead. Um, so you can do a lot of different edits with Figma. That's what makes them pretty cool to work with. So if you have any questions about Figma joints, you can let me know. But that's how we do the replacement parts for Makoto.